Yeah, Sea of Tools, which is like what most server owners use, uh, displays all this info. So it, that was correct that uh, server owners and admins already have this information, basically. I can see what <laughs> server you're on. And like I've had cheaters that come on and I see they hop on Lone Survivor or whatever. And I'll go make a ticket yes. on their server and I'm like, I just banned this guy, you know? Just don't don't let him play. He's going to go cheat. How fucking scary is this? As of the 1.13 update, it is now possible for Battle Metrics and Game Tracker to see your player names, joining and leaving times, time durations, so anyone can see where you are online on any specific server. This information used to be only available to server owners, but now this information is now available to anybody watching. This has an impact on player privacy, but it is also enabling a new form of stream sniping. I would recommend that you no longer use a name on DayZ servers. To be anonymous, leave the name field blank. Come back to that. Uh, this will be a pain for server owners, but as it's a majority privacy issue, I cannot see another option. Unfortunately, I do not think this would allow you to stay anonymous for long, as it will be possible to code for your Steam ID. For players in my events, this should not be an issue as the events are all password access only. So please continue using names in the event. Thanks. <coughs> Why did they make this? Oh, I got a lot to talk about on this. All right, so the, first off, you already talked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you already talked about how you leave the name field blank. We already took that feature out. Like we kick you if you leave the name field blank yeah. because a lot of people will do that, especially cheaters. And they'll come to safe zone, which it'll display survivor if you aren't aware. Yep. And they'll come to safe zone, so we have like a little nameplate, so you can see everybody's name in case people start being assholes and stuff, and you gotta like get rid yep. of them. So like, there's some accountability held to it. If we didn't have the trader nameplates, it would just be pure chaos. <laughs> so the survivor is basically a way to circumvent it, since we have typically like six to ten survivors on at a given time, and uh. It, it's a, most of the time it's just noobs like they don't know better to change their name before they join so they just log in and their name survivor they they don't know why their steam name isn't the same but anyway so yeah we kick them if they have the name survivor which is really bad because it's bad for admins trying to like hand down punishments on like a cheater that's like fucking speed hacking or whatever and his name survivor there's like 10 survivors how do you know which survivor you know it, it's See, a pain. Dumpgrass saying in chat, this has been in forever. My understanding <laughs> is yeah. that you could always view the player list in game um, through the yeah. uh, Steam overlay, but this is now exporting it to sites externally. That's the thing that's changed. Am I right? Yeah. It, it seems like it. Yeah. But yeah, Sea of Tools, which is like what most server owners use, uh, displays all this info. So it, that was correct that uh, server owners and admins already have this information basically i can see what mm -hmm. server you're on and like i've had cheaters that come on and i see they hop on lone survivor or whatever and i'll go make a ticket yes. on their server and i'm like i just banned this guy you know just don't don't let him play he's gonna go cheat you know save them the time of you know dealing yeah. with them doesn't matter yes. thing 64x um... has um and been public info it used to be in battle metrics then it stopped for a long time so what what they're saying is right then dump grab that uh, as of 1.13, this information is back on these easy to obtain websites. So, yeah, it's. You want something it very even easy worse than the that? Casual stream snipers. It's a little bit off topic, but there's like, we could even see your IP address, and I think that's awful. I don't think we should be able to see your IP address at all, but I can see every single person's IP address that connects to my server and previous ones. Yeah, that's. I, I hate that. I, I don't think yeah, that should I mean... be. A thing. No, no, Why? definitely not. It, it's, it's nice. It's nice to be able to ban people who like you want yeah. to be. You, sh you should. It, be it's able good to because have it the option comes to... with the IP ban, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could IP. Like if you ban somebody, it like bans all their IPs from connecting. But uh, I just hate that it displays that information to us. Like, what are we gonna do with it? Really? Like, there's yeah, no it should point. Be yeah, it should be encrypted. Right. It should okay. definitely. I mean, yeah. I mean. They don't need to have the IP visible to us to be able to 
add that no, information it, it, to a ban list. Exactly. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it, the actual IP address is is very, very sensitive information. And having any kind of random person uh, just opening a server and having a bunch of people come play on the server, that's, that's bad. I mean, they definitely right. should have some kind of system where you can... You can have, obviously, as much player information as possible on the people that are connecting, but limit it so at least, you know, the, the IP can be hidden from and everyone. Like, as you say, Ice Blade should be encrypted, but you can still have the option to IP ban. And, yep. you know, it, it, it should be, that's how it should be done, in my opinion, because obviously, you know, security concerns and everything like that. And I know there's... Um, that's the way CF Tools does it. Like, you get your yeah, own CF a, Tools yeah. ID. And so, um, you know, you can cross-reference that through other player, or through other yep. Steam accounts, uh, but you don't actually see the IP address. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly how it used to be to a certain extent. They didn't IP ban; they added that functionality with CF Cloud. But I, yeah, I love Scout's that's, reading. That, that's what you. Um, she yeah. said that this is uh, clearly basically uh, you lot need to chill out and come and play on console. We don't need to worry about any of this. <laughs> Advantage of the console, right here, folks. Mark, exactly. I'd rather exactly. sit in my hands and clap. Yeah, Marks is not looking happy. <laughs> We're waiting. We're waiting, Marks. <laughs> PC's better. Console trash, boy. No, we There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Got to subscribe to my OnlyFans for that content. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, this is, um, yeah, just, yeah, you know, on top of what we found out last week with the back door through mods and knowing that other mods have had it in the past as well. And there's probably other mods out there that have got it or other similar malicious stuff. And then this, it's just, yeah. It's just not needed. Like, yeah, it's not needed mostly. Like, what are we going to do with an IP address? It only leads to abuse. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever like looked at somebody's IP and was like, oh, I'm going to put this in Google or like use it to ban somebody. Like, no, yeah. I hate that it displays it. And I think it like they need to get rid of that. Definitely. I mean, again, like I said, you know, there's, there's certain information that even server admins don't need to know in regards to a player. They just don't. And I mean, yeah, sure, there's the argument where um, IPs aren't really, you know, that sensitive and whatnot. Anybody can right. find it. I mean, to be perfectly honest, you can easily track somebody's location by IP address or at least a rough area of where they live. I mean, yeah. anybody what do you can need do that, that for? once you've, Like, you don't. You, you, exactly, you don't. I mean, I know there's certain individuals in the community who have gone an absolute fucking mass tirades because their IP has been exposed. Right. And it can lead to a lot of fucking bad shit. So we don't. Yeah, I've need heard of admins like leaving a server and getting like DDoS as a result because of it. <laughs> exactly. Like, so yeah. Mark says the next sponsor for you. Make it yourself a VPN. Yes. I tried. Yes. Every since the Nord VPN, they they ignored me. So. <laughs> Bastard. Mark, someone get you a G Fuel sponsorship. Watch. I need to. Do, I probably Wonder. just need to message them and see what this. I actually know. I, I I know somebody. I think. We'll see. <laughs> yep. I'll take it. But yeah. But uh, yeah. 